everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one we are going to be doing a look at this color combination lock. So the idea behind this thing is very simple. You just put in the right color combination and you will get the right output. So as you can see we have these colors on the ground over here and we have to put those in to get the output. So over here we can see that I have already placed the purple and the cyan and over here we got the green and the yellow so on the last one we need the pink and the green so we are, what we're gonna do is go and uh, press this button for a little bit and we will see that our colors come in and we get the correct output so now that we have seen it in action let's see the rest one behind this thing so the mechanics behind these things are very simple, but the rest of them is just as hard. So over here we have a piston feed tape, which means a roll of blocks which is going to be cycling the blocks. So we have colors on one side and glass blocks on the other. So these can be any transparent blocks, but they have one solid block over here. So when the solid block is placed over here, the rest of them will be going through this repeater and will be powering this redstone torch but on the other colors it's not going to be going to doing that so when you get the right color you will get the right output so this is the same thing on all of these things it's going on on three sides you can have as many of these things as you want but uh, I will just tell you that this is very expensive and it uses quite a lot of redstone as well and it is extremely hard to build so you will have to think about that before you get onto making hundreds of these so yeah so now that we have seen the redstone let's see how to build this thing so if you want to build this thing you will need a 7 by 3 area and this will be the height of your building so it's 7 high as well so keep that in mind before you build it in a cave or whatever so what we're gonna do is start off by building a wall so what we're going to be doing is adding the wall just like this and add two break two blocks and add glass over there and add a button right over there so now let's add the monostable circuit so we're, you just have to place a block over there and a redstone dust over there and a piston facing upwards with a block on top and then a block over there with a repeater so now let's add all the pistons so we're gonna be adding two pistons right over here facing this way so we're just gonna go and add them like this break all of these and then we're going to be going down a little bit like that and then add two pistons like that then go five blocks up one two three four five and then go like this and add two pistons facing this way and break all of these blocks and then go over here and add two pistons facing downwards like that so now what you want to do is place a block on the front of this repeater and then place a slab over there with another repeater going into a block. So you want to keep in mind that these pistons should be in line. So I'm just going to do that really quickly because I didn't do that before. So now what you want to do is place blocks like that, a block over there, a block over li like that and add redstone dust on all of these. Now go over here and add two blocks in b below over here and blo two blocks like this and repeaters set on four ticks and then blocks and then just connect up all of these with redstone. So now what you want to do is place blocks like this temporary blocks and add a slab over there and a slab right over here. Break these blocks and add redstone dust. And now what you want to do is place a block over there, a block over there and redstone dust just like that and redstone over here. Okay, so you want to place a repeater over there, set on two ticks and then blocks on top of it like that. Three blocks and then two blocks like this and a slab over there with redstone like that and redstone over here and a repeater set to two ticks right in the middle. So now what you want to do is just press this like that and you will see that all the pistons will fire up so now what you wanna do is go two blocks over here and a block over there and add a line of blocks like this and put a block over there just for now and then a repeater over here with a redstone over there and a lever over here and then a block and a redstone torch 
So now what you wanna do is add all of your colors. So I have five colors or six colors in my entry and I'm just gonna be adding them randomly and be sure you add them in two combinations and leave one on three pistons. So I'm just gonna leave one there and add it like this and leave over there and then add that like that. So I'm just gonna be breaking that. So three pistons should not have a block in the front. So let's press this button to see if this whole thing works and it's working. So now what we're going to be doing is adding all the transparent blocks. Now pick a combination that you want. So I'm going to be going with cyan and pink. So now what we're going to be doing is adding all the transparent blocks in the front of all of the colors. It should be aligned with the block and wherever there is the com com when you have put in the combination put in the uh, solid block over here. So I'm just going to be doing a slab block like that. So now I slap. So whenever I put in the cyan and the pink, it will give me an output. So to actually use this thing and uh, hooking it up to a secret door or whatever, what you want to do is just take an output from here and add the redstone and add a torch. So whenever you put in the right combination, this torch will turn off, turning this giant straw on and that will open your door. Now when you have more of these, multiple of these things, you will just have to add all the redstone and connect them all of these torches and put it to a single torch like this and then it will just be working just the same way. So that was the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.